The game is called I Know the Knicks. Now, there's going to be more categories when John gets back, and we'll see how you do against John in the future. But basically, there's two categories here. The 2021 season and then the post-decision. Now, you're going to get to do both if you'd like to. John, you know, you'll like to. I just, I know you. You'll like this game. Um, And basically... It's going to be a list of things that you're going to have to name as many as you can on said list. And based off of your percentage in each list, we'll see how well you know the Knicks, Jeremy. Okay, you get normally you'd get no strikes in the the regular game. It's basically going until you can't list anymore. And then if you're out, the other person can keep listing until they're done. Uh, In this Mm -hmm. case, I'll give you one strike. Okay, so you get basically you get one miss. You get a mulligan and then after your second miss, you're out. Okay, Um, so you want to do the 2021 first or post decision first? Let's do 2021 first. 2021 first. Okay, most recent season. Knicks went 41 and 31. One of the more special seasons in Knicks history. So, Jeremy, of the 13 players that did so, can you name? How many, all the Knicks that scored 100 points at least last season? At least 100 points. Okay. At least 100 Um, points. How how many of the 13 Knicks that scored 100 points last year can you name? Sure. Uh, Julius Randle. Correct. RJ Barrett. Correct. Reggie Bullock. Correct. Alfred Payton. Mitchell Robinson. Correct. Jones Noel. Correct. Uh, Taj Gibson. Correct. Uh, Yes, correct. Okay. Alec Sorry. Burks. Uh, correct. Emmanuel Quickly. Correct. Derek Rose. Correct. So uh, it's 10 out of 13 is what you've named right? 10 of the 13 so far. Yes. Okay. Austin Rivers. Ah, I didn't know if you're going to get that one. Yes. Correct. Uh, you know, um, the other two, that's uh, where it gets a little trickier. Obi Top. Two more. Obi Top in his one. 253 yep. points, by the way. That's good. Yeah, I saved him for later. Cause it's like, mm-hmm. I feel like 100 is a very easy bar for him to clear, but I wasn't now, sure. This is where the game gets fun. There's one left, and in a normal world, you'd only have, you'd have a miss and you're out, and your right. opponent would get to steal. So, so who <sighs> else? You have two tries, basically, and there's really only two options that make sense. So let's see if you can get it right without missing. Well, I feel like at this point, it's process of elimination. Okay. Uh, it's not Dennis Smith Jr. No. Um, I'm trying to think if it was like a, it wasn't Iggy Brasdakis. No, that's for sure. <sighs> Two way contracts. Theo Pinson and Jared Harper definitely not. No, I mean you know you don't think Theo got like, in 100 points last year. <laughs> no, de- I didn't. I'm saying he definitely uh-huh. did not. Definitely uh, didn't. You know, I mean, I'm trying to think if Frank got to 100. Because mm-hmm. go ahead. I feel or... like I feel like this is a trap. That's why it's a trap. Yes. This. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> it's going to be Kevin Knox. It's Kevin Knox. Yes. Frank yes. had Frank had 89 points last season. Yeah. So you got Kevin all Knox of them. Was just too hot. Yes. For yes. A brief so moment. There was a brief <laughs> moment where we thought he figured it out. He actually shot 39% from three last year. So corner God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, listen, Kevin Knox, there's a role on an NBA team that doesn't want to win for him out there. I hope he finds it. Um, so you went 13 for 13 on your first ever I know the Knicks. They will be much harder in the future. Um, but I figured I'd give you an idea of how the game will work. And to back that up now, the other category, post-decision. So since LeBron took his talents to South Beach, uh, that is the range that you will need to know the Knicks. So Jeremy, uh, since July 9th, July 8th, 2010, I think is the decision. Um, can you name... All the Knicks that have shot 40% from three in a season on at least 100 three-point attempts. Okay. At least 40%. Yes. How many players am I working with? So one second. One, two, three, four. Because that's the thing. Some players did it in multiple seasons. So I'd have to... Mm-hmm. I'd have to now. Here's the thing. Like Some Knicks might not have been there the entire time. It's That's why okay. the 100 attempts is important. So As a I, Nick. As a Nick, yes. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's happened 21 times, and I believe there That's are so sad. 
21 yeah. times in 11 in years. In 11 years, yes. Um, I believe two, three, four, five, only five repeats. So that's what, 16 players? I'll tell you as we, I think that's 16 players, but I'll tell you as we go. Basically, if All you right. get, I'll tell you if some person did it twice and you get credit for both. You have to go 21 for 21, though. Oh, good. I'm, yes. I'm glad I don't have to do that. Yes. Um, RJ Barrett. Last year, shot 40% from three. Yep. I'm trying to think if Randall did it. I think he did. Yes. 41% yep. from three. I'll just, I'll, I can't have you miss this early. So you get, you still get uh, a strike, by the way, if you want. One okay. mulligan, if you want. I want to say that uh, quickly did do it. He did not. Ah, damn. So that's he, I know strike. he was like, it was like what? 39% from the field and 38 from three or something. Yeah, like that, it, was, it was something close. I'll look it up, but he was very, by the way, I did round up. So basically you had to okay. shoot 39.5% to qualify. And Emmanuel quickly right. this season shot 38.9% from three. So interesting. Okay. Yes. There uh, were, I will Steve, add though, there were four Knicks that did this last season. Four Knicks. Okay. Um, I mean, Alec Burks was red hot. So I'm going to say Alec Burks. Correct. Shot 42% Great. to leave the team, to lead the team in three last yep. season. And then um, I'll go Reggie. Reggie Bullock. Yes. 41%. Yeah. Um, another okay. candidate, uh, Derek Rose did shoot 40% on the Knicks last year. Um, he did not have enough attempts though. And then Frank shot 48% from three last season, but again, did not have enough attempts. Yeah. Okay. Then it gets harder because age and everything. Now I'm go just back gonna... in time for this. Say the obvious ones. Steve Novak. I correct. And twice uh... 43% in 2013, 47% in 2012. I'm trying to think if Pablo did it. Is that your answer? Um, it's not based on your tone. Uh, is, is that your answer? <laughs> All right. I'll stay Pablo Prigioni. Did it twice. 2013, yes. 2013, he did it 39.6%. And then in 2014, a whopping 46% from three. Pablo That's Prigioni, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. All right. So I have six out of 15. So, uh, six, but technically eight of eight of 21 is what I'll do. Cause right. the two guys you did, did it twice. Okay. Who else? Um, non this year guys, I should say did it twice. Right. Man. I mean, I know Jr. took a lot of shots, a lot of threes. He was a six man, but mm-hmm. plus percent. that's a lot. Um, say the obvious ones. Unless, unless, that's you, thought, thing. unless started- you thought he was an obvious one. I mean, the shot selection makes it feel like it's not J.R. Mm-hmm. Smith. Um, it, the thing is, like that team, that 2012-2013 team shot the most threes in NBA history at the time. So yes. it couldn't have just been Novak and Prigioni making it. There were three people, excuse me, four people from that Knicks team. I'm going to, I'm going to, again, stress, say the obvious ones, because that one was difficult for me when I got there. Right. Okay. And that's even a hint for you that there were four guys on that team and it's not obvious. Part of me wants to say Jason Kidd was one of them. Is that an answer? Uh, fine. Yes. It's not. Jason Kidd did okay. not in 20. Let me double check though. Cause now that I'm he thinking. He was so hot in the beginning yeah. and then just, you know, fell off a cliff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he took it seemed more. Maybe it's, it's probably just that Nets game that makes me think like, oh yeah, you know. Literally that one game. <laughs> <laughs> the the three pointer that I am pretty sure I missed the free throw after, but it's close enough. So maybe you did that more. Jason um, Kidd in 2012 13 shot 35 percent from three. Oh, on 325 on attempts. Um, okay, you lost, but let's see how I, yeah, far. You, let's see how far you can. Let's just keep playing a little bit until sure. you give up. Okay, so Copeland? you got your yes. Chris Copeland shot 42 percent on cool. 140 attempts that year. All right. There's one more from that team. I can't say Mello. It just doesn't feel like it would be. I might have did it in a different season, though. That's true. But 40% from three? The Mello slander. Can you please say Mello so I can tell you the times he did it? Mello. Carmelo Anthony in 2014 (laughs) shot 40% from three. And then when he came to the Knicks in 2011, in just half a season, 
um, shot 42% from three, which he meets the attempts. That's what that was the caveat I was giving you that a guy might not have been on the Knicks for the entire season, but may have done it for the met have met the threshold of 100 attempts. See, I thought he was going to be like hot, ridiculously high 30s, but not mm-hmm. quite in the 40 range. But well, so he was. a shout out to Chris Herring, who was the one a couple of years ago that pointed this out to me and it stuck with me since he's only done it once in his career. And it's the 2014 season. Another reason why he was coming off one of his best career seasons and Knicks, Knicks fans wanted him to take a discount. So that way, Phil Jackson could squander more cap space. Anyway, go ahead. See how many more you can get. Porzingis. Porzingis, Porzingis didn't did shoot it, 40. Did he it did it. Once. Oh, okay. So 39.5%. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. I mean, I understand <laughs> the rounding, but like. Just okay. Waiting. By those yeah. parameters. Sure. Well, like Chris um, did it 39.6 as well. But if you're rounding up 39.5% for Porzingis in 2018, I would have, if that, if you had said that, I would have let it slide because he technically didn't reach the mathematical term of 40, but right. yeah. Was there anyone from last year, not this past season, the season before? Yes, one. The COVID team. Was it Wayne Ellington? No. No, no, because Wayne Ellington Ellington was so hot this year, this past year, but not the year before. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was one player who did it. Oh, it was Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris, 44% from three that year. Blazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then after that... um, So there's two two guys on here that did it twice. You've had... You have... One, two, three. You have eight more instances when it happened in this decade. Two more players did it twice. So I guess that's six more people that did it. I hate how much roster turnover there's been over the years because mm-hmm. there are so <laughs> many names. It's not like Clay did it seven years in a row. No, right? Yeah, you have to actually go think of. Wow, this guy was on the team then. Yeah. No, it's tougher. Um, did Courtney Lee do it? Yes, once forty one percent in twenty eighteen. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Can you give me a hint on the year? So twenty eighteen, someone else did it once. So it was Porzingis, Courtney Lee, and one other person did it. Twenty eighteen. Let's start there. And this person also did it in twenty sixteen. Someone who was on the team for multiple years. Mm-hmm. I was shocked when I saw this and. Here's your other hint. I was shocked when I saw this and it made more sense why John has been such a stand for this guy. Why John has been such a stand for this guy. Yeah, 2015, 16, and 2017, 18. This guy shot 40% on 109 and then 124 three point attempts. On the Knicks. Yes. Oh, man. It just goes out the window. Long, Long Island, uh, not Long Island, New York's own. Like, grew up, he's a New York native from Brooklyn. I mean, it wasn't Taj, obviously. No, Duke University's own. Oh, God. Yeah, that, okay, that's what it was. Lance Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lance Thomas did it twice in 2016, 2015, 16, 2018, as I mentioned. You know what I think it is? I purposely blocked Lance Thomas out <laughs> that whole of my era. brain. <laughs> he seems like a great guy, but yeah. I just, yeah, not not one to remember. Listen, uh, okay, 240% got, got, from three seasons. I got one name that I think is a Hail Mary. Mm-hmm. Langston Galloway? No, but that's a worthy Hail Mary. Yeah. Uh, by the way, accordingly, he did it twice. So there's only, okay. there's three more people left. One guy did it twice. One guy, the other two did it once. So the one that did it twice did it in back-to-back seasons in 2015 and 2016. So 14, 15, and 15, 16. I just, I keep trying to block out that that era. (laughs) Because it's so bad. I mean, it's just so miserable to watch. Yeah. Um, Point guard. Did Raymond Felton do it? I know no, that's not the issue. there. I did, but, okay. uh, once again, I was shocked when I saw this. Well, it's definitely not Derrick Rose who would not take no, the first goal. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, if you're shocked, then if you were shocked, I'm not going to get it. Jose Calderon in 2014-15 oh, right. shot 42% from three on 142%. 140, oh, now you just reminded me that. Attempts, yes. 
you just reminded me about like the D'Alembert aid mm-hmm. era. And, oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, is Jason Smith one of them? No, but again, Damn. fair, fair, <laughs> fair guess at this point. And then 41% really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Uh, in, uh, 2015, 16. So there's two left. One you're not going to get based off of uh, what you said. And then one, I'm surprised you didn't say it's from the 2013 season, the 54 win season. Terms of shooters. Well, that's the thing. I actually didn't think of him as a shooter, which made his appearance on this list a little surprising, also. In the 2013 season. Mm-hmm. Okay, it wasn't Landry Fields because he was no. already just missed point. though. No, just seen. missed though. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking the other year, Landry Fields, the year before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Lynn Sanity year and what? Yes. Okay. Um, 2013 year. I'm trying to think of all the guys who are on it. I mean. Definitely wasn't Rasheed Wallace. No. Wasn't Kurt Thomas. 127 attempts, too. So just over the right. threshold. Wasn't Tyson. No. Amare. No. Um, we talked about Mello. We talked about Prigioni. Novak. Copeland. Uh, it wasn't Raymond Felton. No. There's so one. That's like You've nine seen. of the guys already. Was it really J.R. Smith? No. Okay, Jerry Smith shot thirty six percent from three that year. Right. Okay. So you have not said a Mon Shumpert's name yet, because I thought that Shump was, I thought he maybe hit again like mid to late thirties, and then his knee mm-hmm. kind of was cooked, and then it took him time to get back. So I didn't know if that season that was the year with the hundred attempts or not. Mm-hmm. But um, only played forty five games, shot forty percent from three on one hundred and twenty twenty seven attempts. Because as you mentioned, messed up his knee in the playoffs the year before. Right. That's why he was an afterthought. But okay. Yeah, okay. that's fair. Um, yeah. Last but not least, there's no way. Sean Williams in the 2011 season shot 40%. Yeah. I had to re- look his name up to remember who he was. Uh, shout out Sean Williams. You're invited on the Knicks Film School podcast anytime. Um, so that is I Know the Knicks. Um, I will, uh, when John comes back, we'll have a brand new set of categories that they'll be able to choose through. Um, but yeah. Uh, valiant effort is what I'll say, Jeremy. 